Adam Wingard was appointed director of Godzilla X-Kong 3, and just a month later, he bailed. Something fishy is going on with the production of the new MonsterVerse installment. The news that the successful director decided to leave the franchise has sparked some speculation. Just hours ago, it was revealed that the new chapter will be directed by Grant Sputore, who hasn't worked on major franchise films before. Godzilla X-Kong 3 will be his second feature movie after the 2018's I Am Mother, a story about an android replacing a human child's mom. Wingard's departure isn't exactly shocking. Despite his plans during Godzilla vs. Kong to make a trilogy, he never left any clear hints about future storylines. He wanted a break from the MonsterVerse and didn't expect Warner Brothers to announce a sequel so quickly. As a result, he chose a low-budget action horror called Onslaught by A24 over the big franchise. For those who didn't know, Wingard is primarily a horror director, and it's clear he prefers horrors over massive blockbusters. After five years of working with giant titans, he simply got tired. Wingard expanded the MonsterVerse, and while Apple will be developing the human elements around Monarch and Apex, the main series must address the events post-New Empire. And Initially, studio bosses provided no clear direction, only green lighting sequels if the box office numbers were impressive, which is exactly what happened with Godzilla X Kong 3. After the failure of King of the Monsters, the showdown between Godzilla and Kong was a trial run. Wingard, who had never directed such large-scale blockbusters, managed to reignite interest in the MonsterVerse. Released during the pandemic, the film not only surpassed the box office of the second Godzilla, but also performed exceptionally well on HBO Max. The relationship between Godzilla and Kong was pretty much resolved and they split off into their own solo movies after battling Mechagodzilla. But Warner Brothers had other plans. Just a few months after Godzilla vs. Kong, the studio announced The New Empire, a decision that seemed controversial. On one hand, expanding the crossover into the ancient Titan War sounded epic, but on the other, rumors of solo projects like Son of Kong or Godzilla's Destroy All Monsters sequel stirred fans. The only thing that bothered me was Wingard's approach to the MonsterVerse, which I personally didn't like. Hope dies last and after the new empire, I was fully disappointed in him. In mid-April, after seeing the record set by his latest work, he stated he wanted to wrap up his journey with the franchise with a threequel focusing on Godzilla. I can't even imagine what secrets Wingard would have unveiled about him when he squandered the promising ancient Titan war plot in the new empire. Despite the criticism, the latest movie was a hit, second only to Kong's solo outing. Warner Brothers execs, blinded by the success, decided to strike while the iron was hot and announced a continuation in May. The studio has also roped in promising screenwriter Dave Callahan, who penned Shang-Chi for Marvel. He will write the script for the third installment. Dave is also behind the first Godzilla film of the 2014 franchise. This brings us back to the fact that despite Adam Wingard's plans for a trilogy, he always kept in mind that his projects could flop, which reflected in the conclusive endings of his stories. We currently have Kong as the king of the Hollow Earth and Godzilla peacefully guarding the Earth's surface. Wingard left plenty of loose ends. What's crucial now is the direction the studio will take. The plot details of Godzilla X-Kong 3 are being kept under wraps. Wingard planned to explore Godzilla's past. Grant Spatori will likely dive into the story of the giant lizard given that the new empire focused more on Kong. But that doesn't mean the third installment will lack Kong and his son Suko. A time jump of a few years for Suko to grow up and Kong's adaptation to his new role as king along with the continued exploration of the Hollow Earth which hides many familiar Titans would make a fantastic sequel to the new empire. Despite this seemingly winning concept, there's one major issue. We're losing Godzilla. Adam Wingard realized this and promised to dedicate the trilogy's conclusion to him before leaving the cinematic universe. There's been too much focus on Kong and the next film should center on Godzilla, finally giving fans the showdown with Destoroya. He is Godzilla-centric and arrived on Earth not from the hollow Earth but from outer space. Given the previous collaboration between Godzilla and Kong, an intriguing twist could be their reunion to combat a global threat that necessitates merging their strengths. This could involve defending Earth from an extraterrestrial invasion, considering the Hollow Earth concept might have become too familiar to audiences. This would expand the lore and canon of the MonsterVerse, especially since Destoroya hasn't been seen in live action for quite some time. Moreover, Destoroya holds emotional significance for Godzilla, as he was one of the reasons for Godzilla's death in his 1995 version. This villain also has a unique ability for destruction and could bring true catastrophe to the MonsterVerse. Including Destoroya in Godzilla X-Kong 3 would help create epic battles and intense drama that will captivate the audience's attention. He poses a threat capable of testing all of Godzilla's might and abilities. With his massive size,
size and diverse powers, he's a worthy foe for the king of the monsters. He can shoot energy beams from his horns, emit streams of fire, and use sharp claws and tail in close combat. Of course, behind all this must be someone even more terrifying because in his current alpha form, no previously introduced monsters can rival him. And a final word on Shimu. Despite the last sighting of the titan of all titans in the hollow earth with Kong, I don't think they will have a joint path in the future. Shimu might go into hibernation after prolonged ordeals and not participate in the sequel at all. This would be an unnecessary element that would unbalance the plot. However, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a spin-off series about Shimu in the future. After all, she is connected to the freezing of King Ghidorah, has a rich and storied past, and is a living legend. Godzilla X-Kong 3 with a stronger focus on Godzilla, could offer audiences deeper insights into Godzilla's origins and mythology, unveiling new aspects of his power and past. The storyline might explore ancient civilizations that worshipped Godzilla as a deity or protector, and new artifacts or relics related to his existence could be introduced. The film could also expand the universe by introducing new kaiju that might either ally with Godzilla or emerge as new foes aiming to usurp his position as the Alpha Predator. This setup would pave the way for thrilling battles and interactions between monsters, showcasing Godzilla's might in a new light. Personally, I want to see the MonsterVerse lore expand. I'm tired of threats from the Hollow Earth. It's high time the creators delved into the cosmic side of things. As for the production status, Warner Brothers and Legendary have a clear plan for the MonsterVerse. Given the box office success of the new empire, producers are keen to continue the franchise as quickly as possible. The swift replacement of Adam Wingard only reinforces my point. They've already got a screenwriter on board and right now, nothing is standing in their way. If things keep progressing smoothly, we could see Godzilla X-Kong 3 by 2026. It promises to be another hit, provided the creators learn from past mistakes and expand the canon. We need a good movie. Let's be honest, Scar King was a disappointment as a villain for real. The MonsterVerse has a chance for redemption with this new installment. If the trilogy's conclusion is successful, we might just get to see Destroy All Monsters or Son of Kong, both of which could once again dominate the global box office. Legendary has all all the potential to turn this franchise into one of the highest grossing in history. But for now, it's best to focus on GXK3. Subscribe for more.